Welcome to Georgia. In today's video, we're gonna spend the night at a Harvest Host winery, buy some local Georgia products, discover Lake Tobisovsky, and continue north, fleeing the South Georgia heat. So stay with me because a brand new traveling Robert video is coming up next. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. One of the first things that I usually do as I arrive in Georgia is stopping off the gas tank because mm, gas is cheaper north of the state line. Just north of Valdosta, here by the old wood mill, that's where I'm going to spend the night, at the Horse Creek Winery, which is part of the Harvest Hosts program. Here I am. <laughs> let me park and let me find out how this really works. And do a wine tasting, why not? They have a particularly good Tempranillo. So here I am. I hang out in the tasting room, you know, for a while, you know, taking advantage of the air conditioning. I'm the only person here and it's kind of hot because it's hot, it's in the 80s. We're here at the Horse uh, Creek Winery, beautiful sunset happening, you can't see it but there you go. And uh, hopefully I'll be here back again tomorrow. It's kind of scary being the only person here, but we'll see. Even after sunset, it is still an incredibly hot night. And I neglected to bring my generator. That would have been good. Uh, I figured it would be a lot cooler this time of the year. And it is still kind of hot here in mid-October. 85 degrees at what it is, uh, 8 p.m. Well, good morning. From the Horse Creek Winery. It is, of course, the morning when they decide to cut the grass. Well, yes, I was abruptly awakened at the crack of dawn by the gardening crew. That, combined with the warm temperature, uh, made it for a very restless night. Not the best sleep I've had, but it's fine. Today, I continue further north and perhaps I'll be able to escape the heat. I'm going to stop here by the Magnolia Plantation and to put some gas and buy some of that hot sauce infused with Georgia peach and Vidalia onions we liked so much on the previous trip. Alright, let's continue. There are a couple more places where I want to stop along the way. And here we are, on the narrow two-lane roads of rural southern Georgia. And there's this place that many people have recommended that I visit, so that's where we're going. This here is Arabi, Georgia, population 586 as of 2010, but this is not where we're going. See the cotton fields? Cool, huh? Here we are, the SL Sausage Company. Let me see where I can park. I am parked in the trucker's lane in the back and I'm really pretty hungry, but there doesn't seem to be a restaurant open in here. 
Well, let's go inside, shall we? The place is pretty big and they have all kinds of cool products, but the main items are really the sausages, the steaks and the jerkies. On the road again, with some sausages in my fridge, I might add. Are those fall colors this far south? Or, you know, that was one of the main purposes of this trip, right? Now I'm stuck with this slow moving contraption in front of me. Or not. <laughs> now we are approaching the town of Vienna, Georgia. I think I was supposed to turn left back there, so now I'm kind of lost. Well, not really. <laughs> I just have to go around, you know. And no room to make a U-turn with the trailer behind me on these roads. Well, here I am. I had to drive a couple of extra miles, but I made it to Ellis Brothers Pecans. They have, well, pecans in every possible way you can have pecans and all kinds of preserves and relishes. It's all very good, actually. I was talking to my mom and she said that she saw on Google Maps this place that looked like a campground called Arrowhead. So I promptly I went and looked it up and yeah, Arrowhead Park. It's on the southern shore of Lake Tobisovsky, just to west of Macon. And I called them and they have a pull through full hookup site, which is exactly what I need. I can't deal with this heat anymore, so no more boondocking for now. I need my AC. So that's where I'm going. An hour later, here I am. Pretty nice, huh? Uh, here we are, pull through. Let's make sure we are aligned correctly. A little bit forward. A little to the back. Yeah, this is perfect. Except for the fact that this is not my site. I'm supposed to be on the next one. Good thing I'm getting really good at this backing in, you know. Well, here we are, the Clovis Point uh, campground. Not too bad. I forgot the name of the lake, but I'll... I'll I'll mention it later. Uh, this is a pull through, full hookup site uh, for 25 bucks. Very cool. Maybe I'll explore uh, the lake area later on. It's too hot right now. And well, of course, full hookup means we have the all important air conditioning. I am going to cook uh, some of the sausages that I bought earlier with this uh, sweet onion pepper relish. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just take a peek. Hmm. Oh well, burn the bread, but the sausage looks so good. Let's put a little relish. As magic hour approaches, I think I'm going to go for a little walk around the campground. Mm -hmm. 
site 42 this might be one to look into the future Site 14 Site 38 is nice Well, good morning and greetings from Lake Tobisovsky I wake up at the crack of dawn to witness the sunrise and take a look at the colors on those clouds. There's that big fiver living. This is where I'm staying here. It's gonna be a beautiful sunrise. Seems to be some kind of race event up there. It's a bunch of people jogging and stuff. There's a bunch of cars parked. Let's see what this is. So it is apparently a 9-11 memorial. Yes, it is going to be a nice day. Oops. Oh well. Too late now, I guess. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of marathon going on. Okay, how about some breakfast? I have some onions that are going to go bad any day now. The mushrooms won't last much longer either. Hey, not the greatest culinary masterpiece, but I love onions and I love mushrooms. And now we're going to put a little bit of that Vidalia onion and peach hot sauce that I got at the Magnolia plantation. Mmm, bon appetit!
There's this other camping area here, but I think it's tent only. Oh yeah, it's apparently a marathon. I just saw some guy talking to his camera on the way up. And uh, well, that's what it is. I'm now going to down to the campground, start getting things tidied up. I'm gonna take a shower and continue towards uh, North Georgia. I probably thought I was part of the race. <laughs> the trash all the way out here. So I'm just gonna stop here for a second. Drop my trash on my way out. This is, by the way, that 9-11 uh, monument or memorial that we saw this morning. Let me show it to you again because the lighting is so much better now. It's a beautiful day here in... in we're just west of uh, Macon and I keep forgetting the name of this lake. I'll put it... This. Yeah, so that was a little bit of a hike. I don't know how much I really walked, but hey, this time is running out. Check out, it's at noon, it's 10.07. Almost perfect weather here in the morning. It's starting to get a little warm, so I'm, I'm assuming by, by 2 p.m. it's gonna be unbearably hot. Uh, but right now, at 10 a.m. is still very bearable. It's probably in the high 70s right now. This area here uh, is what they call the beach, although it doesn't seem to be all that great here. All right, I'm heading back to the camper. I'm gonna start uh, tidying things up, getting ready. I have a, a Google says it's a two hour drive, but if we know Google and the RV, it's probably gonna be three. Maybe one of those is what we need. And my neighbor over there has a pretty, pretty old vintage camper as well. Well, here we are. Let's get ready to roll and rock. Later I'm gonna tell you the story of why I have my hammock out here. And my two backpacks, we had a little incident uh, last night. Leaky faucet, may I say. All right, let's do it. It's time to go. Okay, let me tell you the story about my leaky faucet. Last night, as I was ready to go to sleep, I noticed uh, some water on the floor, just under the fridge and by the stove, and I discovered that the storage area under the sink was all wet. Mm, not a good sign. And that's where I keep uh, my hammock, you know, my backpacks, uh, trash bags, all the cleaning supplies. And, um, hey, he's crossing. <laughs> Anyways, to make a long story short, I had to empty all that out. And I found uh, that the faucet on the kitchen sink was leaking through one of those uh, hose connections. Uh, luckily, all it needed was a little tightening, but it could have been much worse. I believe the culprit was that I neglected to put on my water pressure regulator and the water pressure at this campground was unusually strong. And so there you go, lesson learned. By the way, I've been driving on the rolling hills as we approach Atlanta, and uh, it's notorious traffic. I used to be convinced that Miami had the worst traffic in the country, but now I'm not so sure anymore. Atlanta traffic is pretty legit too, and uh, here's uh, just a different kind of crazy, and I'm used to the Miami crazy, so it's different.
Why am I putting myself through this kind of stress? You might ask. Well, my wife is flying to Atlanta tomorrow, and tonight I was going to spend the night at a Marietta Walmart and then stay at the Marietta RV Park, but it's still warm enough that without a generator it would make for a sweltering hot boondocking experience. So I have decided to spend the night at the Red Top Mountain State Park, which is just a little further north, on the shores of Lake Alatuna by Cartersville, Georgia. Well, yeah, eventually I made it out of there in one piece, and now we are going to explore Red Top Mountain. It is so beautiful out here, but I'm thinking, mm, maybe I'll show you that on the next video. What do you think? Yeah, there's a lot to do here. If you have enjoyed traveling with us, make sure you are subscribed and check out my other videos. Also, share it with your friends, spread the word and leave me a comment. Now, if you really, really liked it, you have a chance to show your support at patreon.com slash travelingrobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road.